The M109A7 stands as a novel artillery system designed for the U.S. Army, an enhanced iteration of the M109A6 Paladin. Originally termed the M109A6 PIM or Paladin Integrated Management, its debut prototype surfaced in 2007. Informally, it continues to be associated with the name Paladin. Government testing of M109A7 prototypes concluded in 2013, leading to its endorsement for initial low-rate production. BAE Systems secured a contract to convert the initial M109A6 systems to the M109A7 standard. Envisioning a fleet of 580 M109A7 howitzers and an equivalent number of armored ammunition support vehicles, the U.S. Army initiated the deployment process in 2015. In 2017, a production contract was established for the first batch of 48 artillery systems, with deliveries commencing in 2018. Subsequently, a 2019 order for 60 howitzers and 60 M992A3 ammunition resupply vehicles followed. In 2022, it was disclosed that an additional 40 howitzers were slated for delivery to the U.S. Army. The modern M109A7 self-propelled howitzer integrates technologies originally conceived for the abandoned XM2001 Crusader and XM1203 NLOSC self-propelled howitzers. Despite retaining the Paladin's 155mm-L39 howitzer, the M109A7 incorporates an innovative automated loader, capable of achieving a sustained rate of fire of one round per minute, a substantial improvement over the M109A6 Paladin. Its maximum rate of fire escalates to 4 rounds per minute, while its firing range extends to 24 km using standard projectiles and 30 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. Furthermore, the M109A7 is outfitted to fire M982 Excalibur Extended Range Precision Guided Projectiles, boasting a remarkable range of 40 km. Enhancements to the artillery system encompass an automatic fire control system with integrated navigation and inertial positioning, alongside a muzzle reference system. Remarkably, the M109A7 displays swift reaction and redeployment capabilities, offering a shoot and scoot feature to evade counterbattery fire. It can halt and execute its first shot within just 60 seconds of movement. The self-propelled howitzer's armor ensures protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. The option to incorporate add-on armor kits and underbelly armor kits is available for heightened defense. The turret integrates Kevlar anti-spall lining, and the vehicle is equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire extinguishing systems. Initial prototypes were fitted with a roof-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine gun in a shielded position. However, subsequent versions feature remotely controlled weapon stations armed with the same heavy machine gun, enabling operation from within the vehicle under full armor coverage. Alternatively, the heavy machine gun can be substituted with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. While early prototypes employed the older M109A6 Paladin chassis, the production version employs an entirely new chassis. Sharing components like the engine, transmission, tracks, and more with the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, this commonality leads to reduced production, operating, and maintenance costs. The Cummins VTA 903T600 diesel engine generating 600 horsepower powers the artillery system, paired with an automatic transmission. Each M109A7 self-propelled howitzer is accompanied by an associated M992A3 ammunition carrier, officially designated as the Carrier, Ammunition, Tracked, Cat. Encased in armor, it transports ammunition and reloads the howitzer via conveyor, eliminating the need for crew members to exit the vehicle during reloading. Typically, this process takes place away from the firing position to mitigate counter-battery fire. The transition to the M992A3 standard involves disassembling and reassembling the oldest M992A2 resupply vehicles. Variants include the XM1299, a novel long-range self-propelled howitzer under development in the US. Sharing components with the M109A7, including its chassis, 
the XM1299 represents a distinct design rather than an upgraded version of the M109A7.